wanted to bring you out onto the water and go over a couple of drills that I use to help me work out my technique. This is kind of a secondary video to my previous paddling technique video. Um, someone asked for uh, drills to uh, work on the technique, so today I'm going to go over some of my favorite ones that I do. first drill that I do I call a catch drill so basically all I'm going to be doing is slicing my paddle in and out of the water I'm going to start off slow and then I'm going to increase the speed of it until I'm doing it just bang 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 so all, all you need to do is that you're going to be stationary for this drill is basically you're going to get into that good position where you're sitting upright and you know we want to hit that catch position like this and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it in. I'm going to slice it in. I'm going to pull it out, slice it in. Okay so um, once you get comfortable doing this you can just you know bang it out but the thing that I'm focusing on when I'm doing this is uh, I'm thinking of I'm coming in from the side and it's slicing in. This helps me when one of the, the bad things I did with my old technique is I brought my arms up and then I came down like this when I went into the water okay um, it, it causes a couple of problems where you're you're not getting a good catch so you're not getting into your power phase until you're later in the stroke and it's actually a lot of extra movement that you don't need to do which over hours and hours is really gonna um, really affect your efficiency so if you know that to have this blade buried it's got to be at my hand here my hand never has to go above so if you have a problem where you're kind of coming down and doing this in your stroke this drill will help a lot so um, <laughs> so what I do is I make sure that my hand is coming from down here and then I'm slicing it in as you can see that that drives it right in okay so I'm gonna do this drill at full pace now so I just sit here like this and I go boom, 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 boom. okay so I'm just working on getting into that, that position where it's gonna be the start of the power phase and I'm there ready to hit it they're ready to hit it and the more you repeat that the more you'll feel that you'll do that in your actual stroke the next drill the second drill is for you to sh see where your start of your power phase should be. So for this, I start with the blade in the water and I push it backwards until I hit it. So I can get to that point where I'm, this is where I can put the most force into the stroke. I go back and then boom, there it is. So this is where I know when I hit that catch in my actual stroke, this is where I need to be, so I'm going forward with all my effort, and I'm in a powerful position, okay? So, again, to do this drill, all you have to do is you put your, your blade in the water, and you're going to move it up, and then you're going to feel it, and then as you start to pull, that's how you know, okay, that's that's that power position that I'm looking for. From there, boom. Okay, the final drill I'm going to go over today is more so, it's not necessarily a drill other than it's a slow down of your technique. So what I will do is I will literally put no power into my stroke and I will just go make sure that I'm going through my checkpoints of everything that I want to be hitting to hit my right technique. So. I'll focus on getting the catch, bringing it through, and then boom. And so that's all I do. I know that sounds really weird, weird and strange, like you're not doing much, but it's getting the your uh, the the your your mind to connect with the movement that your body is doing. So this is one of the things that I've had to do a lot to correct a lot of the. Um, issues I've had with my my own personal technique 
So um, you can't really work on them when you're working at full speed. So when you do that, you're like, okay, so this is how long I should be pulling. It should be exiting out and I'm not doing any fun, funky things on my exit. And then I'm going back in and it's hard to kind of show you guys here because we're, I'm just stationary right now. But um, what I would do is just kind of get going just at like, I don't know, three, three miles an hour and then just put no power into it and just focus on where my body is at each part of the stroke and not, you know, focus on going for speed, for uh, speed of rate, stroke rate, um, keeping that low and not putting any power into it, but just focusing on making sure that my body parts, my bottom hand is down here at the gunnel when I hit the catch, not when I, not fanning in, like coming in and fanning in, but boom, I'm there. Boom, I'm there. And so once I get there, then I'm gonna let it come back because I'm not putting any power on. I'm gonna let it come back and then I'm gonna take it out and bring it right back to that catch. Okay. I'll give you a bonus one is an exit drill. So um, when you're done with your, um, another way to help keep your top hand from going up too high is keeping your top hand low during your recovery. So um, if you're paddling and you focus on your top hand dropping it to exit the paddle, your top hand will not most likely not go way up. So if you use your top hand to get the uh, blade out of the water, you're going to have a more likelihood of keeping the top hand high throughout the recovery and doing like that. If you keep your top hand low during recovery by dropping it to exit your blade then you can keep it low and then it just has to go up at the entry to uh, get your catch. Alright guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys like this. If you didn't, let me know in the comments. Until next time guys, paddle hard.